everyone, welcome back to my mini zoo. So today I'm finally doing my reacting to my subscribers animal enclosure video. Sorry, I did not post this. Um, let's see. Okay, here is our first one, Kaylee's Corral. Here we go. Sorry if it's a little bit blurry. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you <laughs> Candy's cage tour. And first of all, she's super cute. Person. Please go check out that channel. And yeah, let's get on with the video. So here's the outside of Candy's enclosure. She has over six inches of bedding. That's but good. Here's just what it looks like. So here's the top of. Candy. So far, it looks really nice. This enclosure. Um, so this top, me and my mom actually made. Um, and it's just out of wood and little wire meshing. And Candy's really good at escaping, so this really <laughs> helps her not escape. So the first thing in her enclosure is her 12-inch wheel. This was it's originally a perfect my chinchilla's size. wheel, but now it is going to be Candy's because my chinchilla sadly passed away. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is Candy's wheel. Next is her little sand bath. This is nice. actually a baking pan, but... Um, I'm not sure if all sand baths need a hideout or not, but I might recommend one. You you don't have to put one in there if you don't want. well for sand baths. It actually holds a lot of sand, which is really good, and you can yeah. see her little footprints in them, <laughs> and it is really cute. That Next is... is her absolute favorite hide. This hide is just made out of blue. I really want to get one of those for blue. They're super good. And Candy literally loves this so, so much. I can't express how much she likes this. She's in it. I just gave it to Candy. And here's another one. And by the way, in this video, yeah, you'll nice. see Candy escape a whole lot. Um, like right <laughs> now. But um, basically, yeah. And here is her food dish. And here is her water dish. And then she also has nice. a water bottle. She has the option of a water bottle or a water dish. That's Usually good. she uses the water bottle. But yeah, and there's all candy on her wheel. But um, here is another tunnel. Usually for Syrian hamsters, Ooh. you can barely find any tunnels for them. But That's I think this true. is a guinea pig tunnel, and candy is the size of a small guinea pig, so it really works out for her. She does mm -hmm. like chewing on this, and right in here you can see her just going through. Um, but yeah, I really like this tunnel for her. And next is her little coconut hide that she is trying to escape from. Um, <laughs> here she is. But um, <laughs> she is so silly. And here is another toy. So these little three box looking things was actually a bird toy. It was like six dollars at Petco. Um, but I like stuffing treats in there. And That's a good foraging idea. Them, um, as you can probably see. Um, and here is Candy's little burger and french fry, little loofah and wood shoes. Um, full credit to my mini zoo for giving me the link to buy these. Candy really likes chewing on them, as you can see the french fries is kind of destroyed. Um, but yeah, she absolutely loves these. And here I am trying to get Candy to stop escaping again. That's funny. And Candy is apparently the star, but here's a little destroyed pine cone and I didn't get So she has a lot of enriching things to do. I bought it. That's um, and then she's really good. And then she has a little swing. Uh, thank you for entering your cage. It is absolutely amazing. And I really hope to get an Ikea Detoff one day. And then Life of Lenny. Let me see if hers is there. Okay, here. Here we go. Here it is. It's a nice cage. I think I, that's the same one I have for blue. Sand bath. Dirt. Super cute. Um, your cage is very nice. Um, I don't know how many inches of bedding you have, but make sure you have at least six, and I don't know if I saw any toys, but I'm sure you have some. Um, hey everyone, wait, two is a Hi, I'm Nevaeh, this is Nevaeh's pet, 
and today I'm going to be doing my Hamster Pablo's Cage Tour information including bedding type, wheel size, hamster species, and stuff like that will be in the description. Let's get into it. He needs the pellets last low. And willow tunnel, it leads into the substrate. Nice. Also good for their teeth. Mm -hmm. So if you have a hamster, uh, I recommend making one of those. Look in the description on how to make it. Uh, I'm upgrading him because he's a little bit cage aggressive. And he has been barred chewing a little bit, as oh, no. you can see. So yeah, let's get back to the cage tour, though. Over in this corner, next to the grass, the little, uh, he never please bend brick starter and inches of bedding because of, or I mean for wheel. It's a little bit sleek. Your cage looks really nice and enriching. I don't think there's anything else you would need to change unless you want to upgrade it one day. Okay, now we have Misty the hamster. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm really, really sorry for not posting. Oh no. Sorry, I got really... So right away, I can see you're using nice bedding. And it has a lot. It's pretty deep. And you have the heart chew toy thingies. A nice big hideout. Another hideout. Sand. So far it looks really nice. Aww. Maybe in the sand bath area, if you notice that she really enjoys digging, maybe add more sand. And if not, then nothing else. Um, it looks really nice. Let me see really quick. Go back in. See on here. There's one more. Here we go. already above the bare minimum so um your cage looks really nice you have a lot of different hideouts and tunnels and your cage looks really nice Here is this one. Your cage looks really nice. The only thing I would say is maybe take out the plastic hideout because um, I don't know if they're the best for guinea pigs. So thank you to everyone who entered. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see another one of these in the future, let me know in the comments. Bye!